this short webinar introduces the regular employee well-being surveys that are operated by S23M. We all thrive when given the opportunity to work and connect with our most trusted peers. In good and honest company, everyone is acutely aware of the collective capability that is available by trusted relationships with colleagues, friends, partner and family. Cultural and psychological safety is about exercising the ability to act in good faith and respect and to appreciate the diversities of people. Creating and maintaining a safe environment is fundamental for the flourishing of all staff. But sadly, in many organizations, cultural safety and psychological safety is still the exception rather than the norm. We think it is time to reflect critically on business as usual. Creating good company hinges on trust. Organizations are only able to deliver valuable services to the extent that they can rely on a network of trusted relationships both within the organization and the wider community that supports and is supported by them. A bit of background. The employee well-being service design emerged in 2019 out of the autistic community. It occurred to us that the objectives of the new diversity movement overlap significantly with the interests of those who advocate for greater levels of psychological and cultural safety in the workplace. No large organization can claim to have a genuine commitment to diversity and inclusion if it does not subscribe to independent oversight by marginalized segments of the population. Many considerations from many people have shaped the survey design. The design rationale translates to all marginalized groups. The survey tool has been specifically designed as a tool that encourages employers and employees to engage at eye level and to catalyze honest discussions about cultural and psychological safety. The surveys are available globally. The Autistic Collaboration Trust engages with the wider new diversity movement and other minority groups via the Design Justice Network to promote trustworthy and globally accessible employee well-being surveys that are audited by volunteers from minority groups. From the perspective of staff, the surveys constitute an employer rating tool. The core of the survey is an anonymous assessment of cultural safety and psychological safety. As an employee, you can submit feedback on your current and past employers at any time. The surveys and related peer-to-peer -peer support bullying alert service are coordinated at a regional level by groups of volunteers from the Design Justice Network and the Autistic Collaboration Trust. So what happens to the results? Samples of the anonymous survey data are reviewed by volunteers from the autistic community and other minority groups appointed by the Autistic Collaboration Trust to ensure the integrity of the survey. Aggregate survey results are only made available to employers who subscribe to regular surveys and subject to the limitations described in the user guide i.e. individual anonymous responses are never shared with employers nor with any other party. To get the most out of employee well-being surveys, we encourage employers to extend trust to employees. The results of the survey can only be put to good use if they are shared with all employees. So, firstly, committing to community-powered oversight and regular surveys is a significant first signal of genuine commitment to staff well-being, diversity and inclusion. Secondly, preferably the employer removes all firewalls between the surveys and staff so that the aggregate results from each survey run are shared directly with all participants in the survey. Such a decision visibly demonstrates that a. the employer has great trust in staff and b that the organization is fully committed to independent oversight of workplace culture. One of our first subscribers, Ultranauts in the US, has opted for this level of transparency. We encourage all employers to follow their example. Thirdly, alternatively, employers can run the survey once, review the results, and then decide if and when to share them with staff. 
Depending on the results, it may also be beneficial to visibly publicize the results to customers and suppliers and to the local community. Once an employer has subscribed, how does the service work? Well, employers enroll in quarterly surveys by default. The survey questions are the same questions as the questions in the employer rating surveys. The difference is simply that the employer actively encourages employee participation and that the employer and all survey participants obtain access to the aggregate results. Regular surveys create a new level of shared understanding of workplace culture among staff. Trends, both good and bad, are made visible every three months, allowing employers and employees to engage in eye-level discussions with respect to challenges and opportunities for improvement. So, to summarize, here's how it works for you as an employee. Step one, you're invited to participate in the anonymous online survey, which is operated by S23M. Step two, towards the end of running the survey, you're asked to confirm participation independently from your survey response. Please note that in order to maximize the protection of employees, S23M will never share information about who participated in the survey nor any of the anonymous individual responses with employers. Step three, volunteers from the Design Justice Network and the Autistic Collaboration Trust select a small random sample of participating employees to verify survey participation via a phone call or email and online tools such as LinkedIn. This step is necessary to discourage employers from submitting responses on behalf of employees. Step four, the employer only receives aggregated results from the survey together with the overall participation rate. Step five, the employer decides when the aggregated results are shared with employees or are made available to the public. So here we now have a few frequently answered or asked questions. Um, you also find them with more detailed responses in the user guide together with further questions. So here we just have six. First question, how is the survey data secured? At this stage, we use SurveyMonkey to store the survey data. All responses are anonymous, and if desired, we can agree to delete all individual survey responses for an enrolled employer after a survey run. Second question, is it fair to say that the employer rating service is designed to be inclusive of all team members, not only new divergent team members? Yes, this is the whole idea. And this is also why we are recruiting volunteers for coordinating the employer rating service and the bullying alert service in collaboration with the Design Justice Network. Employers can tell us which specific marginalized groups are relevant to their context and we will actively seek to find volunteers from these groups. Third question, by aggregate data, do you mean data aggregated for specific categories of respondents, i.e. everyone, or new divergent participants, or LGBTQ plus participants, etc.? Yes, this is correct. This is why we work with adequately coarse categories so that the results aggregated by category are unlikely to yield categories for which there is just one response. Question four, can we add the question, what is your gender? This can be done if desired, but we would recommend consulting with all employees whether they are comfortable with such fine-grained categorization. The survey does cover broad social categories, but intentionally stays clear of more detailed categorization that could assist with de-anonymizing individual responses. Question five, is there a single metric that could be calculated based on the survey results, i.e. an overall index for psychological safety? Well, it's always possible to calculate a single metric. The question is whether a single metric still provides meaningful insights into changes or trends. We recommend on a small set of numbers, perhaps five or seven, that reflect dimensions that are viewed as important by the organization. Question six, what frequency would you recommend for the survey? We encourage employers to run the survey quarterly. We do not recommend running the surveys more frequently as people would quickly get tired of the survey routine. 
Instead, we encourage staff as needed to make use of the bullying alert service to reach out to external peers to report any major psychological safety issues they are experiencing. To demonstrate a genuine commitment to cultural safety and psychological safety, the New Zealand Nurses Organization recommends S23M's intersectional community-powered employee well-being service to all employers. Transdisciplinary collaboration hinges on psychological safety, cultural safety and inclusiveness. These and other human factors determine the inherent social value of a company, the well-being of employees and the quality of care delivered to patients. Professor Terry Hanan from the Australian Institute of Health Innovation considers our employee well-being surveys to be an excellent tool for evaluating cultural safety. Now, collecting survey data and sharing that, uh, creating a shared understanding uh, across staff around the issues and challenges is one thing, then acting uh, on this information is another thing. Um, so the insights from the employee well-being surveys are the first step on the journey towards a healthy workplace culture. Creative Collaboration is a service offered by S23M that assists organization in taking action and to transition towards trusted relationships in a much safer and genuinely inclusive workplace culture. Creative Collaboration unlocks the value of psychological safety and creativity via open space workshops. Cultural safety is essential for breaking through the barriers of established disciplines, management structures, groupthink and physical distance. Please don't hesitate to contact S23M if you have any questions related to our employee wellbeing surveys. If your employer has subscribed to regular surveys, our support team will answer any queries that you may have with respect to specific survey questions. Thank you.